Hello, welcome back to PowerShell for pen testers. In this video, we're going to uh, cover our final lesson, which is gonna be to get a golden ticket on uh, our workstation so that we can have persistent access. Let's go ahead and open PowerShell really quick and we'll run it as an administrator. We need access to j.taylor. So let's go ahead and find that run as command that we used a few moments ago, which uh, if you're still following along from the last video, you can simply just push up a few times and you'll see here run as user j.taylor powershell.exe and we'll put lexington 1776 exclamation mark and now we have access. So the first thing we need to do here is to import mimikatz again. So let's copy our mimikatz script and import it. And we need to do what's called a DC sync. So being as we are a domain administrator, that means that we're gonna have DC sync rights. We need to DC sync uh, the Kerberos account or the KRB TGT account. So let's do invoke Mimikatz. And then command. And let's do here LSA dump DC sync. We need domain is mayorsec.local and we need the user is KRB TGT. Then we'll close it with double quote and single quote and hit enter. And with any luck, this should dump the account for the KRB TGT account, and we can get the hash, at which point we can continue moving. So as you can see, it does, and here is the hash for the KRB TGT account. Let's go ahead and copy this and put it into Notepad. And our next task is we need the domain SID. So we need to import PowerView one more time. So I'm just gonna push up a couple times and just type in PowerView here and hit enter. And then we need to just get domain SID and hit enter. So we're gonna need this for our domain and we might have to do domain name mayorsec.local. And now we have the SID for our domain. Our final task then is to simply request the golden ticket. So if we do invoke Mimikatz command, and then if we do single quote, double quote, Kerberos golden, and then we just set the user to whoever we want. We can just use the administrator in this case, or j.taylor, or really whatever we would like. And we set our domain to mayorsec.local. And then we need this SID value. So just go ahead and copy that SID value and paste it. And then we need the KRB TGT ticket value, which is right here. We need the hash for that account and we'll paste it. And we should be able to uh, just go ahead and close this off and hit enter. and you'll see that there was an error, unfortunately. So let's try this one more time, see if we can try it with a pass the ticket. And you can see a ticket for the administrator at was created. Now if we K-list, we have a uh, cache ticket, sorry, uh, on our machine. So now if we want, we can just open a PowerShell and we have this ticket cache. So let's go ahead and just ls dc01 c drive and it's denied. But if we're over here in this, we can do it. So let's go ls dc01 c drive and we're able to access it. So using that, that ticket, we're able to successfully access uh, the domain controller. And anytime we need to do this, we can simply run this command here. So again, um, if we come over here now, if we simply want to invoke or load Mimikatz, sorry. Let's see if I can find it here sometime today. And then anytime we want to be able to access the domain controller, all we have to do is run this command again and we'll have a ticket. And then we can just ls dc01 C drive and get access to the domain controller. So golden tickets are real neat. 
Uh, and again, all we have to do is simply reload Mimikatz and run our command again, and then we're able to execute commands or access it as we would like. So that's going to wrap it for PowerShell for pen testers. I really hope you've learned something in this course of videos. Uh, certainly, please follow and subscribe if you would, and let me know in the comments how we did uh, with this free offering. So thank you so much for joining me, and I'll see you around. Until then, take care.